Parkersburg South's finale isn't until next week's Civil War. As for tonight, a South winning in 6-2 and two Wheeling Park could lock down a playoff spot. I'm sure that Josh Vermillion would agree that this year's already been a massive success for Parkersburg South, but they can't relax yet. Well, Nathan, back in the American Revolution, the Patriots were battling the British, but tonight it was a battle between two different sets of Patriots, and both were on the hunt for their seventh win. And much like the original Patriots had George Washington, Parkersburg South has coach Mike Eddy leading the way for them. And much uh, after Garrett Gilkinson gave South the early 7-0 lead, Wheeling Park was ready to return the musket fire as Theo Blackson takes the handoff 24 yards around the right side to give Park some momentum. That momentum would be stalled though as Michael Grove gets stuffed for a three-yard loss that set up a third and long for the visiting Patriots. Following a five-yard encroachment penalty, Blackson takes it right again and this time he hurdles over a defender, trucks through another one, and scores to tie the game at seven. He finished the game with 110 yards. Now it's South's turn to fire back at the other side, and Brendan Schwinneman takes it 12 yards around his right side to move the sticks. On third down, Gilkison tries to find Schwinneman on the pass play, but South would end up having to settle for the field goal. Down 10 to seven, Park's chances of putting up points before the half almost end as there is a fumble on the snap, but they recover and keep their chances alive. Quarterback Killian Coyne is trying to get the ball moving as he finds Grove, who makes the nice one-handed grab on the sideline. And on the ensuing fourth down pass, Coyne lofts it up for Elijah Bell, but Gilkison, the quarterback, times the play, wins the jump ball battle, and knocks the ball down in the end zone. And that allows the hosting Patriots to hold their 10-7 lead as they head into the locker room to pre prepare for the second half. After a quick stop by so the South defense, Gilkison shows why he's the team's leading rusher as he bursts through the line and takes the ball 31 yards out to give Parkersburg South the lead 17-7 in the third quarter, but the rest of the second half was a different story as Wheeling Park clawed their way back into it and ended up getting the win 25-24. Ugh, so close in the end for Parkersburg South. How did Wheeling Park pull away or take over the lead in this one? Well, after that last Gil Gilkison touchdown, Wheeling Park's Michael Grove had back-to-back -back touchdown runs to give them the lead. After they traded scores, South had just over two minutes to score the winning touchdown. They marched the ball down the field thanks to a big pass interference call, and with 7.6 seconds left, Elijah Bell intercepted Gilkison's pass to seal the game for Wheeling Park. So Parkersburg South, they're 6-3 and three now. Obviously, we're keeping an eye on their playoff chances. How do they stand now? Well, I think they are still in a good spot to get into the playoffs, especially if they can get that win next week against crosstown rivals Parkersburg. But they were really hoping for a home game in the first round, and after the loss tonight, that doesn't seem likely to happen. Revolutionary War to the Civil War. Looking forward to it next week. Josh, thanks a lot.